Hey guys, Brian Kate here with Kate Fit, a fitness and self-development center where I help people get more out of their bodies and more out of their lives. Today I'm going to teach you three keys to having a balanced diet. The other day I was walking through the health section of Barnes & Noble and the amount of diet books was ridiculous. Not because I'm not a fan of books and varying opinions, but because they were so conflicting. You had the low carb diet, the high carb diet, the um, ketogenic diet, low fat, bread for life diet, high fat diet, low fat diet. There was books on all opposing views. And it's no wonder that you as a consumer get lost as what's healthy and what's not because there's both sides and to market it, they're putting the extremes out there. Now, I didn't read all these books, so I don't know if there's common themes and they actually say similar things. But the basics of a good diet are pretty simple, and today I'm going to show you that. In any change we make, the majority of us spend the time majoring in the minors. We focus on the small details that really don't have a huge impact on the quality of the change. So I have people starting out and it's like, should I be eating eggs? Are they good for you or bad for you? Should I have some tropical berry or Scandinavian superfood? Is it organic or gluten? So. I've actually had people tell me that, oh, this is super healthy, it was organic strawberries, gluten-free, and I added this stevia, so it's really good. Um, it's like, yeah, you fixed the, fixated on those details, but it's still a strawberry pie. So it's going to have way more calories to not be as healthy as doing that for regular foods. And yes, those details could help you, but if you're eating at McDonald's three times a week, and eating pizza and hamburgers, those are what you want to change first, then worry about the small details. Okay, so today is the three keys to a more balanced and healthy diet. Yes, it's going to be simple, but until you learn to master the basics, don't worry about lingonberries or the Buddha's hand fruit. Let's start out with number one is to have a diet that has less processed foods. This is something I personally struggle with. Being busy and running around all day, it's very easy for me to stop and get something from a fast food restaurant or pick up protein bars with a bunch of fillers and preservatives and crap in it. But it's going to be better to eat healthier when it has less preservatives, less artificial sweeteners, less processed overall. Two tips on that is one, when you're in the grocery store, go around the outside of the store. So more fruits, vegetables, meats, lean meats, all those are gonna be less processed. The other tip is look at the ingredients. If it has more than three to five, probably is not gonna be good for you. The fewer the ingredients, the better. Number two is to get more protein in your diet. I have a lot of women, especially, who don't eat enough protein, and I found that that actually stops them from making progress in their exercises and keeps them from losing the weight that they want. So you want at least 0.65 to 0.85 grams of protein per pound of body weight. If you start getting that in, that's going to help you maintain your muscles, so you're going to keep your metabolism higher and help you perform better. The, the leaner protein, meat sources, fish are going to be better, but if you're, say, you're vegan or vegetarian, you want to focus on more um, beans, legumes, things of that nature, peanut butter, nuts. If you can't get it in, I do recommend maybe a protein shake that is made of a pea protein or rice protein so that you're getting the amount that your body needs. Um, I know a certain number of people, vegetarians, who will just eat more processed stuff that has low protein levels. And finally, number three is to eat more vegetables. We all know we should, but few of us actually do it. The more vegetables we can get into our diet, the better. I would start with leafy greens, things like uh, lettuce, romaine lettuce, spinach, kale, stuff of that nature, and then focus on as many varieties of vegetables as possible. The more, the better. You can also add in fruits here and there too. So those are gonna have phytochemicals that can do anything from help improve your blood pressure, lower cholesterol, some of them will prevent aging, and some of them actually can fight cancer. So the more vegetables you can get in your diet, the better. Those are the three tips. If you're eating a lot of processed foods, you're not getting enough protein, and you're not eating vegetables, 
those are the basics that you should focus on. After you get that all in place, then you can start worrying about the superfoods and all the stuff that can add into it. But if you don't got the basics down, focus on those. Thank you for watching this video today. Please subscribe to my channel so that I can give you valuable content in the next coming weeks where I try to teach people how to improve their bodies and improve their lives. If this helped you, please leave a comment or share with a friend so that they can see it and get the value as well. I'm Brian Cade with Cade Fit. Once you get stronger, life gets easier. Hey guys, Brian Cade here with Cade Fit. Books are my most valuable possession. I believe that each book has the ideas that can transform my own life. And because I'm recommending books on a regular basis, I'm like, hey, you're struggling with this, you should read this book. My clients were like, hey, why don't you create a list of the top books that you're always recommending to us. And so I did just that. I created the top five books to transform your life. They're broken into categories between wealth and finance, relationships, fear and self-confidence, and I broke them into the values that, books that had the most value to me. And so if you click the link below, you'll get instant access to the top five books to transform your life. If you don't start changing the way you think, you will never change. Once you change your thoughts, your actions will change and your life will change. I promise that if you read these books on a regular basis, that your life will change forever.